everyone. Welcome to the Voice of Houston right here at UHN TV. Well, I'm, I'm Dr. Clara Brent and your host and Dr. Bobby Mills, your co-host. We just want to just say Happy New Year. We haven't seen you in a while, and you haven't seen us either. We look forward to uh, having a beautiful year at Urban Houston Network and, and the Voice of Houston. I am so uh, happy that the Lord blessed us to see another year, Bobby. Amen. How about yourself? Amen. Yeah, he has been good to us, and I I thank him every, each and every day for all the things that I have gone through, and yet... I'm still the grace and mercy. That yeah, his received. grace and mercy is still with us. Uh, I thought about uh, Martin Luther King and how he has been uh, thought about over the years. He's celebrated. We celebrated his 95th, I believe, birthday on uh, Monday, and here in Houston, a mayor and the Houston people really turned out to the parade. I enjoyed it. It was very nice. Of course, I wasn't in the air and out there, but I looked at it on television. Oh, and it was okay. real beautiful how everyone just pitched in and to let the mayor know that this is his last year and we love him and we wanted to show him that we did love him, uh, do love him, to the point that uh, over 4,000 people were in the parade. And that made me feel good that uh, we tried to stick behind our mayor. We're going to miss you, Sugar, but we, we know we're going to get someone even better or better than you are. We'll be up to your par when uh, that time comes. Don't forget to vote, though, you all. Be sure you go out and vote. Talking to all of our uh, viewers, don't let anything pass you by and say what you don't like when you didn't do anything about what you should and want to like. Uh, well... Things, prices going up, things are going out of order, and children are doing their thing and not paying any attention to the parents, and they, it, it, it's just like the Bible said, well, uh, Doctor. We might be in the last days. We, uh, we we're looking known. at the last days and disobedience and all of those things are happening uh, a lot. It's, it's getting worse and worse and Christ did want us to watch and we need to start watching. Uh, we not need to start watching our money too. That's the big thing about it. Got to watch your money. Well because things are it's, really going out of it's not so sight. much as watching the money. Oh really? We you have <laughs> to deal with self management called the money is just a tool. And you can use it as a tool or use it as a food. And well, unfortunately, most people tend to use money as a food. Because they know they're going to get some more of it? Or is it that they just well, don't really it's, it's understand the precept and concept of what we need to do? That, well, they have no concept of what money is. Mm -hmm. That's first of all because the Bible teaches very clearly that money is a cruel master. Money is... <laughs> yes, it, it does teach Money that. is a cruel master. See, and two the things love about it. of money... The lovers. ...is the root of all evil. Yeah, just the love, the lover. <laughs> and, and we have too many people who love money because we think that the money is what gives us mm -hmm. the power. And unfortunately, it's not about the money. It's about self-management. Because you can't control the evaluation or the circulation of money because you didn't create the money system. The money system is something that belongs to the world and definitely is influenced by the devil. I have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> it, that's it, it's, why, it's in, it's that's influenced why we got by the so devil. much foolishness going because, on uh, in the world surrounding money that's and, why was, and people doing any and everything. Well, that's why God says that, uh, you know, you just can't, you can't straddle the, the fence. Yeah. You, know, you got to stop straddling the fence, do, do what you're supposed to do. And, and uh, stop falling from one side to the next side. Yeah. Decide on what 
is halted between opinions. Yes, decide whether you're going to go with the world or go with God. Right. That's the whole issue right now is that the majority of us are going with the world. Whatever the world says or whatever the, the government says, and I believe you brought that in your article this morning. Uh, well, it wasn't an article, but you texted me it's about some uh, no uh, comparisons. Yeah, well, and I said there's no comparison between what they're trying, what I was saying was basically there's no comparison between what Donald Trump did and, what's and going on. Mm -hmm. what Joe Biden is doing now has done in relationship to, you know, the classified well, documents. Let me ask you this. Do you think that uh, because of Trump's four years has brought us behind and that Biden has to try to catch up that's causing all this, uh, well, this well, misunderstanding it's, it's no that is going on in, in the society. White House, and I shouldn't say the White House, but in the government with the representatives? Well, it, the thing about it is, and they not Trump, they not understanding. Donald Trump was and is the most ungodly person that we've that ever, had. ever had as besides a Truman. President. I think Truman was one too. I well, just read up on his how he what all he changed how he changed things around. Well, but, with his but books. see, you can't compare. You can't compare anyone. Really? To Donald Trump, because <laughs> we have never had a president who tried to overthrow the government other than Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's so, he cries innocence every, all the so time, the, but so, he was he was so the there cause is of it. No comparison. No, it isn't See, in that area. Uh, not that way, of course. <laughs> none of the other presidents in the history of this country tried to overthrow the government. The government and its uh, they, constitution. The EO tried know. to overthrow the Constitution. That's what that, I'm saying. That he tried to that. overthrow the system. Yeah, the system, which is the Constitution. And install himself as, as dictator. The dictator. <laughs> the right, you know, really mm -hmm. as the white privileged dictator. dictator. Yes. Because he uh, had already told everyone that he believed in immigration. As long as it was people coming from Norway, Switzerland, Sweden, yeah. Scandinavian countries, et cetera. So from the white skin country. As right. we call it white skin kind of light right. skin, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So you know he, he's a person that slowed off mm -hmm. because in the first place, America was never a white country. So there is no comparison. That's so what there you get is into. no comparison. Mm -hmm. It was never a white country. Yeah. Cause there and so were why make, why you want to make it that way when you knew it wasn't that way? Well, because it's about privilege. It's about privilege without responsibility. Mm -hmm. See, that's what that's what uh, you know racism is. It's yeah. about Whatever. wanting privilege without having any responsibility or accountability mm -hmm. for doing the right thing. Do anything you want to do as long because, as you see, don't bother me doing it. If if skin color gave you a privilege in society and exempted you from death, then we would all have to question God. It seems as if nobody's so questioned in the Bible. Period. Um, it's not. It's no understanding anymore, and it's a falling away. It's a great falling away from well, from you, church you, you, and you, and God. You know why? See, the problem we have today in American society is, the tele is white the telephone Christian evangelical pastors. Who are prejudiced? Or, or, well, uh, or pastors who are, uh, we, we, uh, let's put it this that, way, that believe they in white will privilege. not <laughs> teach and preach God. the truth <laughs> of the Bible. They that, will not teach and preach that God has that no respect of, of person. You, there you go. In Galatians, so five, they, Galatians they preach God. and teach mm -hmm. white privilege in these churches, and should not be taught. And it should not be taught. They need to go back that, to Billy Graham, because, because uh, Billy Graham that's the is the only is, way you are going uh -huh. to go back with Billy Graham and. And in any way resolve many of these issues that we have in society. Exactly. And you can see 
that by what they are doing, teaching privilege without responsibility based on skin color, you can see the effects of that with their own children. Yeah, and the church. Now when you, because now they're teaching their children to resolve any difficulty or issue or problem that you have with another human being, resolve it by what? A gun. A gun. That's what it is. 18 years old and you go and get a gun, that child is still a child. And then nobody can tell no, you no better when, than when the a, child a, it when, can when be influenced a, so easily. When a mother... And a six-year-old, my goodness. Now, when a mother buys a high-powered handgun... And give it to ...brings it home and obviously displays it in some ungodly ways around her child, mm -hmm. then her child picks up the gun, goes to school at six years old, and shoots his teacher in the first grade. Well, what about the one that shot his mother? Now, we haven't got the, I didn't get the whole lowdown of it, but I feel like, why would a child grab a gun, point to his mother, the one that raised him, the one that loved him, caring for him, and point to his mother well, and she shoot him. was trying what, to discipline her. him or chastise him for could some you, action. And then out of, you know, And just from thing. looking at television, or it could be from just television and playing games. Right. What do you call those, uh, those shooting games they play? Right. Uh, let me tell you this, and then we can go back to it. But we still own the same idea, same program. My nephew loved games. You know, love to play the little, game. little uh, shooting games, the, the army games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you run, Not you right. hide, you find, you shoot. You run, hide. Do you know he received a letter from some type of military? I didn't, I didn't look into it too well, but it was a military invitation to him. To come and join the school. Some military type academy. You Some saying? kind of academy. How old is he? He's 11. Might be 12. But it's close in that, in that area. 11 or 12. He's 11 or 12, but they are recruiting him because of what he does. His skill with that kind of... That he's skilled at it. He stays up until he's 4 o'clock in the morning on weekends, you know. And, that's and, how. And that's you, how. He, he's living that's with how, you. No, he comes and be with me sometimes on the weekend. Be at the house on the well, weekends, Dr. and Brad, he got the. Uh, now you need. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't put that on me because I'm going to sleep. <laughs> well, well, you know, say, after you, a certain you, you hour, you can tell sure. them you better go to sleep, and, uh, and it's, if it's, I, if it's I wake ten o'clock. Catch you up. Yeah, you but got you got something sleep. coming. Well, honey, they are so smart these days. Till they can hear you walking. <laughs> and jump back, turn it off everything. Well, I can't. And, well, I'm and, and be you smart open the too. door and it's just like they sleep. I mean, it's just sleep up a breeze. I'm going to be smart too because <laughs> the but, next thing you know is but you're I not going to have no video game. I said, That's just a simple. Because if you got the video game, I had to buy it because you ain't got no job. His mother bought it. But the, the, the issue of what I'm thinking, what I'm saying is, is that what I'm trying to get over to you all is, is that he. Being uh, a child that is interested in military, uh, whatever pursuits. you call it, pursuits, uh, he, they're on his game. They are looking at him as a, as a recruit for the, for the future. Who would be a, who would be a good uh, lieutenant, general, someone that would uh, could go out there in, in the in the uh, field and and fight for the country. That's what they are doing with these games. You got the children interested in playing the games, but they are looking at him for a for the future, what he's going to be and what he's going to be like. Do you you see what I'm saying? You all is that the games are just not games. It's a it's a way of. Uh, finding out what young people are 
Well, it's okay, teaching. Well, it's teaching values. It's teaching is the it value. Te- yeah, that's what is it is. Is that a value? Yeah, is that a that, value well, on the kill people? When you going and 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 going through all these generations about killing and this and that, that's a value system. See, I'm values, listening. Go ahead, bro. Values are what dictates actions, and so that's 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 a value. See, like we were saying earlier, when you got a mother that would buy a high powered pistol, handgun, bring it home and display before a six-year-old child pointing that and using it and maybe going out and shooting and taking this kid. And then this kid has some kind of altercation or disagreement or something with his teacher in the first grade and he goes to school with the gun and shoots the teacher. I mean, you know, that's 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 that, awful. That is awful, and I, I fault the mother. When you see you fault a two-year-old the parent kid. without explaining what this gun is really for, protection. That's well, what the thing about it is, that, and you why, shouldn't. And I don't want you using it. What she for. should be teaching him, Doctor Brand, is God is your protection. Of course, I'm, I'm. I'm not saying, but I. We got so many people that is not of God. It's pitiful. The issue here is, is that even though they should be knowing about God, they don't. So if they are not knowing about God, they need to explain to their child why they are doing what they are doing with the gun, and that it's not for him or her to be playing with it or even well, see, using it as a a means of getting even. That's the issue. Well, see, the thing about it is we got a gun-crazed culture that is oriented towards solving problems Problems, at the barrel of a gun. And that does not work because Jesus had to tell one of his trusted disciples, put up thy sword. Mm-hmm. For those who what yeah. live, live by, by the, the sword, sword will die. Will die sword. by the sword. True. So, you know, he didn't mess around, and before uh, Jesus could whatever, he didn't cut the Roman soldiers' ear off. Peter, and Jesus Peter picked Peter the ear up and put it back on before the Roman soldier even realized that the ear was missing. Mm-hmm. So here's what I'm saying, Doctor Brent. We have a society now that is headed for the internal I mean I'm talking about the eternal bone fire because we are going to destroy ourselves from within we ain't got to worry about no Russians coming (laughs) no Chinese coming (laughs) they are already here because the mentality of the Russians, the Chinese, the Monies, and any other thing, <laughs> it's already operating in American society. Yeah, well, I, but I, all of these I guns, was thinking the other day, and it, it, the other day I was thinking, I said, well, maybe we all just get back to the old, old West, the old West. Everybody carried a gun on their, on the hip. And everyone learned how well, to shoot a know, gun. That's why they don't and, know, uh, and that's why that's one reason why they stopped it. Now yeah. we can we going just back to it. it. Yeah, it's going right back to it. So we go get us a, a a belt and a gun holster and a gun and put it on the inside, and we all walk around with guns and and see who who can help each other go to to the grave faster. That's all. <laughs> That's yeah. what it's all about. Because we all, that's what it's all about. Your, you know, you graveyard traveler anyway. You gonna yeah. die anyway. Yeah. So it's no point in you going around here threatening to kill people and all that kind of stuff. And killing people, hanging yeah. people. They 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 still hanging black men. They don't. It's a, it's under the under the, the rug a little bit, Not but it's my, still uh, there. It's there. It's still happening. happening. God bless her soul. But my mother in law uh, had to come and live with us. She lived in Chicago. And uh, when she came from Chicago, we was helping her unpack and everything and all of it. And she had an old gun. Had a gun with it with 44, and, You 38. know, living in Chicago, I guess she figured, <laughs> hey, you know, whatever. Man, so I told her, we don't, we don't deal with that. So I took that gun and took it on down to the police department and gave it to them people. Uh-huh. Jesus is my gun. 
I heard that. Because if you kill me, what have you done? You just said, I didn't think I'm going to die anyway. Yeah, thank you. If you kill yourself, what have you done? You're going to die Nothing. anyway. You're going to die anyway. All you have to do is wait. So we ain't got to go around here killing one another. What we need to do is to learn how to love each and other. serve each other, each other mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ yes, so sir. that we can live in peace and harmony with one another and we don't have to be worried about all this other foolishness. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not crazy, Dr. Brent. I got some cameras all around my house. Mm -hmm. I got a alarm system. Yeah, you do, you're doing buddy. everything you can well, possibly can do to protect your, to protect got your the life. Gun. Yes. And, and authorized to have the gun mm -hmm. to come and protect me mm -hmm. along with the Lord. Now, first of all, I'm depending on God to protect me and to be my guide. And not, and not no gun. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the problem that we have. Yes, that's the problem that we have. And then we make an excuse and say that I was afraid for my life. Yeah. You should be afraid for your eternal life, tell the yeah, truth. There you go. And if we, we are, end all up. of us get, yeah, we're we going to end up. And we must believe that the word of God has never, no one can disprove of the predictions that has been in the in the Bible has not come true. Never proved. It has all, everything that was uh, is recorded in that Bible. And that Bible has come to pass and is coming and to pass it has right not now. Come to pass, mm -hmm. Just hold on, it will come to pass. Exactly right. And so we have the, the, the whole issues that we've been speaking of, you all, is that we have forgotten that everything is a God thing, not your thing. It's a no, God thing. We've we have the most important thing. The yes. earth is the Lord's, the Lord's and, and the fullness thereof, and all that dwell therein. Yes, and right and here, since I'm, God is what the end and the beginning, and the beginning, <laughs> the earth belongs to Him. He is the answer. God yes. is the, the answer. The silver, the gold, the gun is not everything the answer. on a thousand hills. The presidency is not the answer. No, and and we we all know that. Uh, President Obama, God bless his soul, mm -hmm. was probably the most moral president we had in a long had. time, a very long time. Because there was no scandal in his way. <laughs> Thank in the, the Lord. In the eight years that his family, they lived a model life. Yes, they did. The children did not crazy. Mm -mm. Grandmother didn't have crazy. <laughs> Wife was little stable minded. You know, the dog, my, my, the dog went, went crazy. <laughs> he wasn't going around biting people, people and <laughs> running folks off the lawn and all and that. The, and mm -hmm. the one thing we do know, President Obama knew mm -hmm. that yeah. he had to live a moral upstanding. Now they tried to find every, they went back through his life and tried to find, and they couldn't find no, no kind of scandal, nothing thing. on him. And the only thing they could come up with, they had to manufacture, well, the Negro wasn't born in America. That's all they could. <laughs> That's all they could come That's up with. That's all they could come up with and lie on that. And look, now and he, let him, he let him lie a long time too before he yeah, came up with now that. You know they that, said uh, that George Washington, never told a lie. That was a lie in itself. And we know <laughs> that... <laughs> that was uh, a lie in itself when they said he never lied. That he lived a lie. You know why he lived a lie, Dr. Brent? No, you tell me, honey, because you think you got yeah, some answers here today. Because he owned 300 slaves. <laughs> <laughs> he lived a lie then. <laughs> I thought, you were, I thought you were gonna come with the false teeth. No, no. <laughs> that he that he See, pulled he pulled no, his yeah, he pulled slaves. he had his slave. So that's a lie. That like was that. put together to put in his mouth for false teeth. He <laughs> didn't pull his own slave's teeth. Yeah. So that uh yeah, he lied. He's lied a long Yeah, yeah, time. he lived, yeah. you know, they said he never lied. But yeah, that and was the boy that built him up as and, a, and you good know man. of the first 16 presidents, 12 of them owned slaves. That's why we have such a hard time uh, 
uh, wiping out the that that thing that Dr. Just, Feldman Bonner of the on up. sixteen <laughs> original presidents up to Abraham Lincoln. Twelve of them owned slaves. That's why it was so hard to get rid of slavery. Yeah. That's why it was so hard for them to to go by the laws that were had been made and 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 to use because they had slaves. They were making money. Oh, That's yeah. the whole issue. And the whole thing in it is now is we gas is up, food is up. The 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 most important things that we use has gone rocket high, high in the sky. Eggs that we use every morning. Costing six dollars a, a dozen. Yeah. And uh, I mean, this is outrageous. The way this government, and I'm not well, going to even say. I'm going to say the way these companies are doing. Yeah, right. It's not in the America, so the government has government nothing to do with that because they, these are private companies that are taking advantage of the American people. Greed. It's just greed, Corporate and that's greed. that's a sin. I'm saying it's a sin, you all. It is a sin against God for you to do your fellow man the way these companies and these presidents of these companies is immoral as immoral can be. It's wrong for you to just want, and you won't even want the money, and you won't even outlive the money. Well, billions of dollars, one person owning billions of dollars the billions won't run out, but your life will run out. And then you need to think about how you treating your fellow man. Even if you do have that old greed, uh, sinful part of the devil working in you, you need to change and change your ways and your actions. I say that to all of those, if you are hearing me, I hope you are, that you need to take away the, the pain that you are causing so many people trying to make end meet, ends meet and not get no results from what they do every day. Go to work, come back home, and before you know it, you got to pay the bills or this or that. But when you're looking for food and you cannot find, you cannot buy the food for the money that you have, then it's wrong. It's wrong the way you all are doing the thing. I'm, it's wrong the way all these companies are doing the, the, the gas companies, the food companies, the chicken companies especially. Yeah. Well, why would Brandon, you want to go up good, on? But we have come to the end of the hour. Oh, I hate that because I want to tell them about the talk. Y'all, well, the, the all we can say is, is that we love you. And God loves you. And God loves you too. Stay prayed up and go to church Sunday. Please do. And put God in your life. Let him stay there. Don't put him on the shelf. And then take him down when you want him. But use him at all times. And your ways and your actions should call according to his, his rules and his uh, precepts. We love you. Take care. Remember to keep the paper in your car. And we'll see you next time. God bless.